Here are some very important questions about LCM and LCD which will be discussed in the video. We'll see what is the difference between LCM and LCD as per their usage. How do we find LCM? How do we use LCD? And we'll explore all this with some examples. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Our students are right there on the top, getting admission to the best universities, even with scholarships. Now, let us try to understand these two terms. LCM, which is lowest common multiple, and LCD, which is lowest common denominator. How are they related? We'll also look into techniques to find LCM. Once you find LCM, then you can add fractions with different denominators that LCM can act as lowest common denominator to add or subtract fractions. We'll take up some examples to explain the idea. So now let's begin with how to find LCM. So let us say we have two numbers and we need to find LCM. And now, as you know, LCM basically stands for lowest common multiple. So if we have two numbers, let's say 6 and 8, to find lowest common multiple, we can list multiples of these numbers and find which one is common and which one is the lowest among those which are common. I'll suggest begin with the multiples by 1, 2, 3, 4 and so on. So 6 times 1 is 6 times 2 is 12 times 3 is 18 times 4 is 24. 6 times 5 is 30 and 6 times 6 is 36. As far as 8 is concerned, we know 8 times 1 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, 8 times 5 is 40. Now in this list, you can easily see that the common multiple happens to be 24. And definitely 24 is the LCM. So lowest common multiple between these two numbers is 24, correct? So that is one way of finding the lowest common multiple. We can adopt another method which is called ladder division to find the LCM without listing out the multiples. So here what we do is we write the numbers of our interest. In this case, they are 6 and 8. Well, both are even, can be divided by 2. So, dividing by 2, we get 3 and 4, correct? Now, there is nothing common between them. So, LCM is equal to 2 times 3 times 4, which indeed is 24. So, we get the same answer. So, I hope you understand both these techniques. Now, these two are common techniques which are utilized to find LCM. However, there are many more, including one with prime factorization of numbers, where Venn diagrams will be used. So, for now, we'll stick with the division method, which is far more efficient. And we'll move on with understanding how do we use this LCM and when does it become LCD, right? So now, let's try to see how do we add fractions. Let me take example of 5 over 12 plus, let's say, 2 over 9. Now, if I need to add these two fractions, you can see their denominators are different. So now what we need is lowest common denominator.
or LCD. What can be the lowest common denominator? Well, the lowest common denominator is going to be the lowest common multiple between 12 and 9. So, to find this, we actually find LCM of the denominators which are 12 and 9. So, using our technique of division, we can now write down 12 and 9 and divide them with their common factors. 3 is a common factor. 3 times 4 is 12. 3 times 3 is 9. And therefore, LCM in this case will be 3 times 4 times 3 or 9 times 4 which is 36. So, we see that LCD, the common denominator is always equal to the LCM and in this case it is 36. So, once you know that LCM is 36, that means you need to rewrite the fractions with common denominator of 36. So, now let's try to rewrite. So, we'll answer this question as 5 over 12 plus 2 over 9. We want to make the denominator as 36 for both of them. Now, to get to 36, the equivalent fraction, 12 to 36, we need to times it with 3, right? So, it becomes 15 by 36. In this case, we will times it by 4. So, 4 times 2, 8. 4 times 9, 36. So, we have written equivalent fractions with the common denominator. And it should be the lowest common denominator to make things simpler. Right. So, now once we have a common denominator, you can add the numerators 15 and 8 to get the answer. 15 plus 8 is 23. So, we get 23 over 36 as the addition of these two numbers. Clear? So, I hope the concept of finding the lowest common multiple, so that's a process, using this multiple as a unit lowest common denominator for adding subtraction or fraction is the application. Perfect. Let's take one more example. Now, what happens if we have a fraction which involves three terms to be added? For example, I have here 1 over 6 plus 3 over 8 plus 2 over 15. Now, clearly, we need to find the LCM. So, to find the LCM, I'll use the division method. We have these three denominators, 6, 8, and 15. I can divide them by 3, at least 2 terms, right? 3 times 2. Now, I cannot divide 8, so I'll write it as such. 8 is not a multiple of 3. However, 15 can be divided. So, we'll write 5 there. Now, as you can notice, 2 and 8 has a common factor of 2. So, let's reduce that further. And we get 1, 4 and 5 cannot be reduced with 2. So, that is what remains. So, clearly now, we have the LCM. And LCM is product of the numbers we have, which is 3 times 2 times 4 times 5. And that gives you 4 times 5 is 20, 6 times 20, right, which is 120. So, 120 becomes the LCM. To add these fractions, this LCM will now become LCD, right? That is how they are related. So, we will rewrite them with denominator of 120. You get the idea. And then we'll find equivalent fractions. So, for the very first one, which is 1 over 6, we need to multiply by 20, right? 20 times 6 is 180. So, here we times it with 20, correct? Each. As far as 8 is concerned, 
8 times 15 is 120. So, 3 will be multiplied by 15, correct? Both terms. So, 15 times 3 is 45. 2 will be multiplied by 8, giving us 16. So, you see, we have equivalent fractions with lowest common denominator of 120, which is same as the LCM. Now, we can add these fractions without any problems, right? So, we have a common denominator, which is 120, right? And we need to add 20, 45 and 16. Correct. Let's add them. 6 and 5 is 11. 3, 7 and 1, 8. 81 over 120. Now, 81 over 120 has a common factor, right? So, it is a good practice to simplify the answer. In this particular case, we can divide by 3, for example. Dividing by 3, we get 3 times 2 is 6 and then 21 is 3 times 7. In the denominator, 3 times 4 is 12 and we get 40. So, we have an answer here, 27 over 40 as the sum of these three fractions. So, I hope with this, you have understood the strategy. So, once again, let us summarize what we have learned here. Step number one is to understand that LCM can be the lowest common denominator for adding and subtracting fractions. Process is that LCM has to be found first between the numbers in the denominator. Once you have the lowest common multiple, when you use it in addition of fractions, it is treated as a lowest common denominator. So, that is how they are related. Right? And second, we learn techniques for finding LCM, right? So, we also learn effective method. to find LCM. Now, this method is very useful if you are especially working with big numbers and many of them, more than two, especially, as we had in this particular video. I hope that makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it would be great. Thanks for your time and all the best.